What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? You know what time it is. Amiibo time. Amiibo time and Zelda time. Ooh. Do you nerd? <laughs> Welcome to Do You Nerd? I'm Tom. I'm Lady Lacey. And we are seeing if we have 1,000 Zelda items. And I tell you what, this is going to help put some numbers, oh, on, that numbers on that count. A lot of numbers on that count. Once upon a time, Nintendo released these fantastic little things called Amiibo. And we had the brilliant idea of, what was that again? Well, let's just get them all, because the first wave, there was only 12. And we're like, dude, we can totally swing that. We made a mistake. There's a lot of Amiibo <laughs> figures. And there's a lot of Amiibo cards. <laughs> Today, we are taking a look at the whole Legend of Zelda Amiibo figure collection. To this date. As, as of filming, yes. Yeah, good point. Because <laughs> one other thing I want to point out when collecting all of the Amiibo. Skylanders, did they finish? Yes. Lego Dimensions, did they finish? Yes. Disney Infinity? Yes. Yeah, so apparently we picked the one Toys to Life thing that... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's... Oh, and Starlink. There were the Starlink figures. Yes. Anyway, so moving on, let's talk about the Amiibo. First of all, I would love to know if any of you collect the Amiibo figures. Do you leave them boxed? Are you monsters like us? And take them out because they're really cool and articulate. Or do you have to buy two of each kind so that one's in the box and one you can take out to play with? You're crazy if you do uh, <laughs> because I don't have space for just one of these. So jumping right in, first of all, the Super Smash Brothers series had some really fun yes. Amiibo. And my very first Amiibo, thanks to the lovely Lady Lacey, was Smash Brothers Link. When looking at the Amiibo, we actually noticed a curious detail yeah, on Yeah, he his. has a yellow stand. Any of the other Amiibo They're that you all see, clear. Right. Yeah. So I don't know what's up with that, but he was our very first Amiibo. Uh, you know, the Sheik figure comes with a fun story. Yes, that was a, not a midnight release, a early early morning at target they were releasing a rosalina which is my favorite princess we show up there's a couple of cars in the parking lot but no one's standing in line so i decide no i'm not missing out on my rosie and i go stand in line and probably about 30 seconds after that a bunch of other guys got out of their car and i made them all get out of their nice warm cars and come stand in line right before they open the doors a guy came out and goes does anybody here interested in chic we have five and we we're all like uh yeah well, since we were first in line, they gave out numbers. The funny thing is, is when they opened the doors, people were running around us trying to beat us to get them. <laughs> but we all had numbers in order to get. So we had number one for Sheik and number one for Rosalina. So that's how we got a Sheik. <laughs> Back in the wild days of Amiibo collecting, when you didn't know who was getting exclusive, whether yeah. it was Best Buy, Target, Toys R Us, GameStop, yep. and you had to be there first thing. Also in the Smash line, you have Princess Zelda. And Ganondorf, he's looking big, bad, and in charge. I love the, the cape look on him, too. <laughs> and the last of the Smash series, you have Toon Link and Young Link. Captain Algebra would absolutely destroy Toon Link. Probably. But uh, look, look how cool Young Link is with his little piece of bark and for a shield. No pants. Uh, let's not talk about that anymore. <laughs> One of the cool one-offs they did celebrating... The anniversary of Legend of Zelda was this pixel link looking as I like he did the on the ones. NES ones. I like the 8-bit yeah, ones. Yeah, they did the two Mario ones mm -hmm. and then Link. And yeah. I really like this. Just the fun little blocky it's, design. And it's just so like big and thick. I like them big and thick. <laughs> well, moving on. Uh, <laughs> another one-off that they did was this super adorable... Link's Awakening Remake Amiibo. One thing I like about this one is that they made him super shiny, which in the remake of the game, everything was that had that like shiny, like toy look to it to begin with. So I'm really glad that they made his plastic like really shiny to match the Good game. Good point. I don't think I ever paid attention to that, but yeah, that's an excellent little detail. <laughs> one thing that I really like about this figure is how crazy Sega Head goes for it. <laughs> I still laugh every time. Now a line that had quite a few entries was the Breath of the Wild line. You've got the four guardians and all of these look so good. 
Figures like these are exactly why it's kind of a great thing to open them out of their package to really see the detail that went into these. You can see feathers. She's got freaking abs on her. I mean, it is insane. Although I always do feel bad for the post position on yeah. Urbosa's. Well, she's just straddling it just fine. You also had a comment on his figure as well, Daruk's figure. Yeah, it looks like he's sitting on a toilet. Oh, come on. <laughs> Mifa looking so teeny and tiny, but that doesn't mean that it diminishes any of the awesome detail on her. No, I love how colorful they are. I mean, like they are true to form of their characters on screen. I mean, like look at all the color detail on her. Something of an odd choice, I thought, was the Bokoblin amiibo. Yeah, like if you're going to do a bad guy, why just do that one? Well, don't give them any ideas. Slow down. Huh? <laughs> but a cool bad guy. Yes, I absolutely love the Guardian one because you can bend his... There's little pieces out there. They didn't do this very often with any of the Amiibos. Whenever they put any sort of added functionality to the Amiibo like this, so the bendable arms with this, the Yarn Yoshi series, yes. the glow-in-the-dark Boo figure, uh, some of the Monster Hunter ones. Where you can change out the riders. Yeah, yes. I love that extra touch on those. But this guy is so big, he doesn't He's even heavy fit too. on his base. The other thing that's really cool is they've got a bit of the ground with him on his base, which is cool. Uh, they just had to dig him up and, yeah. and pop him on there. <laughs> Another curious call for me on picking an amiibo was the uh, the horseback link. Don't get me wrong, this is a really cool looking figure, but it's so curious of a choice. Like, why on horseback? I mean. Let's face it, even in Breath of the Wild, I don't know, I kind of feel like the paraglider is a little more iconic than being on horseback. I think because there's so many stables in the game and, you know, there's horses everywhere and it helps you get around and you collect the iconic horses in the game. I think maybe that's why they went with it. And then, of course, Link in Zelda, Link in that fantastic action pose. So this is very reminiscent of the very first trailer, like the first mm -hmm. look we had at Breath of the Wild, even before they knew what they were going to call it. Then you've got lovely little Zelda here with all of her, her little fun outfit. I kind of am surprised they didn't do a goddess one of her, like in her goddess outfit. Oh yeah, good call. That that would have been a really cool one to see. It's kind of another little one-off thing would be this lovely amiibo display stand. So you can only fit one amiibo in it. It is of the master sword. And whenever you remove it from the pedestal, That's so cool. I mean, what a great way to get you ready to use your Amiibo. And the tip of the sword almost looks like a stylus, so I've often been curious as to whether or not you could use it as a stylus. We get to go again. Didn't think it was gonna work that time. That's, well, a bit cringe in it, Link. Now let's take a look at the Legend of Zelda series. So these were some amiibo that kind of revisited a lot of the classic Zelda games. This one for Twilight Princess, where you have Wolf Link and Midna. I love that one. It's so cool. I think a lot of people really like this one. We got this bundled with the Twilight mm -hmm. Princess HD re-release, so it came in that lovely big box. The thing I liked about this one in Breath of the Wild, when you use this amiibo, you got a wolf companion that ran around with you which and helped you fight, so which was so cool. cool. Another one that Cap is not going to be on board for is the Wind Waker Link. He comes kind of with a companion. He's got Princess Zelda with him. Two things that are kind of curious to me is one, that they actually went with the Princess Zelda look instead of Tetra, which I felt like kind of would have been a fun offshoot of her. I feel like it's just because more people recognize this versus Tetra if you're not that familiar with the series. You know what would have been cool? Put her and Tetra back to back. That would have been really Although neat. that might have made it seem like they were two different people. Or like Professor Quirrell. And just for fun, here's the Wind Waker link next to the 
Toon Link Smash Amiibo. So they are very different, actually. Mm -hmm. So at least Nintendo wasn't precisely selling you the same figure <laughs> twice in a row. One that I think a lot of people would get a kick out of is the Majora's Mask Link. Here he is holding the Goron Mask so he can transform. The only thing I would have liked to have seen with him is maybe the other masks. You know, they could be hanging off of his belt or something, but let's get all the masks in there. Or if they would have done a Fierce Deity Link, that would have been a cool amiibo. Right here is Master Short Pants himself. Mm -hmm. That would be Skyward Sword Link. I actually always did kind of like this design, kind of midway between Toon Link and Twilight Princess mm -hmm. Link, but he's got like these chain mail. And you can accents. like actually see the links and the chain mail. It's really cool. So this is a cool one. Tell you what, if you wanted to do a great back to back one, this link with Phi kind of mimicking the uh, the promotional poster or yeah, art, that, that would have been, been cool. cool. So then you also have Twilight Princess Link. He again has some chainmail going on underneath his outfit, which is also really cool because you can see the individual links. And then we've got Ocarina Link and he's playing the Ocarina. The thing I like about every single one of these links, because there's a lot of them, they very rare, didn't do a whole lot of Zeldas, but they did a lot of links. You can pretty much put each face next to each other and they all have a different face sculpt, which is really cool because they could have cheapened out. Yes, that's and true. And so I really, really appreciate that they tried to make it look as much like the game as possible. The other thing about these figures that I think is really cool, places that you wouldn't think anyone's going to pay attention to, they still put detail in. Like the backs of the shield, there's still detail Good there. There's call. detail on the hand holding it. You can see the detail in the Master Sword sheath and everything. The back of the shield, every so I mean, Nintendo goes all out for these, I will say that. And then one of my favorites is the loft wing. I love these big giant birds. I would love to have my own loft wing. And then you've got Zelda there enjoying her pet loft wing. Uh, it's a really cool design for Zelda too from Skyward Sword. Mm -hmm. So she looks really great there. And this figure goes to show that you could bundle characters exactly. on a base. So, you know, Nintendo. Give me a call when you like my ideas. <laughs> All right, so to cap the Amiibo collection off, you have the latest, the Tears of the Kingdom version of Link with his funky hand reaching out. It's okay. You need that, you need that human contact. Here you go. Again, another great dynamic pose, tons of detail all over him from the detail in his hand all the way down to his cloak the sword, just his outfit in general. Mm -hmm. One thing that is kind of curious though, I would like to note the clothes that they put him in instead of the uh, almost like Grecian Aztec yeah, tunic. Yeah, what he starts that, off in. Yeah. He's got the Breath of the Wild So outfit. I'm kind of surprised they did that just because we do have Link in Breath of the Wild clothes, but maybe they felt that would have given something away. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, wow. That's... A lot of freaking amiibo. Uh, I would love to know if any of you collect the amiibo before we turn this over to one of our nerdlings to see what they have in their Zelda collection. Kind of a little bonus count number here. I notice you have another awesome shirt. I got my broccoli man on. <laughs> I always thought he looked like a broccoli, but I love this tree. I love when he would do his little dance for you after you give him a Korok seed. He'd do. Da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. I had to get me a t-shirt from Breath of the Wild. What's one of your favorite things to do to him in Breath of the Wild, like, like you know, with Link? Go to him without any clothes on. Yeah. Because <laughs> he goes, to hear Nike, 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 Nike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, so funny. <laughs> let's toss it over to our nerd lead. So yeah, we'll see if Tom has this or not. The Legend of Zelda bar of soap. Maybe one day we'll use it, but for now, let's just use it for decoration. Try to make this as quick as I can. There's the Zelda puzzle. I haven't opened it yet. There's a Game & Watch. My son's playing it on the couch over there right now. The music box. He also plays with this stuff, so a lot of the pieces are missing. Hopefully you could see what we got in here. The 
There's the bath, so... Next, Star Fox collection video. Who? Ronald McDonald? No, I have never heard of him. I will let you know if I see him, though. Another great look at some cool Zelda stuff. Just saying, whether you're collecting Amiibo, the games only, promotional material, there's so much Zelda stuff out there, which is why it's going to be so easy to hit this 1,000 mark, especially <laughs> when you bump up the numbers like this. One last time, thank you for joining us, and let us know if you collect Zelda Amiibo, all the Amiibo, if you're crazy <laughs> like us. This is a lot of Amiibo. It's kind of messing with my brain. This isn't even half of it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go over to Tee Public because we've got some pretty cool t-shirts over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it, and mistakenly we did so for Amiibo. But the Zelda ones are cool. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Ready? Yes, sir. Camera. <laughs> Ready? Yes. <laughs>